So I was volunteering up at the school this morning to help clean out some big, huge storage bins and kind of organize them. The nice thing about volunteering is that stuff they want to get rid of, <laughs> I get to keep. So check this out. This is what I picked up today. Uh, a whole bunch of pieces of bamboo. I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but somebody was just asking me about that the other day and it got me to thinking I'd like to at least make some picture frames or something with it, but I never really knew where to buy bamboo other than the, you know, the plywood sheets that I've used before. But check it out, I've got like four of these enormous like table legs here and four of these oak pieces here, really heavy. Those would be good for turning, I'm sure. And then I've got a bunch of lumber out here. This piece is like 12 inches wide by 10 foot long pine board. I've got a really long piece of plywood and then some very large posts down there. So it's hardly even volunteering when you get all that stuff. <laughs> okay, a few things I wanna go over. Uh, let's see, about yesterday's video, the, uh, the step stool. Uh, I had some odd reactions to that. <laughs> On YouTube, a lot of people were uh, were upset that I wasn't talking in that video, <laughs> which strikes me as funny because I have a lot of videos that most of the comments are just shut up and do the project or you talk too much. <laughs> so on this one, people wanted me to talk. And well, there's actually a reason why I didn't talk on that video is it's because I was kind of a slacker this week. I Because of the 4th of July and everything going on, I was really intending on getting that stomp box made but I just didn't have the time to really figure it out the way I wanted to do it properly. So on Thursday, kind of at the last minute, I just somehow decided on making a step stool. I thought, well, that'd be a quick little project I think I could put together. So then I, I had to design that really quickly and just come up with a way to build it and started building that on Thursday, late Thursday afternoon, and then finish it up Friday. And then, uh, edited the video on also on Friday and the reason why I didn't talk in it was because it's just a lot easier to just shoot 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 what I'm doing and then edit it and then just slap on <laughs> a music track so it's kind of a lazy way of doing it but I got the video done and don't worry I will be talking your ear off some more in future videos. Uh, another minor point of controversy I guess <laughs> on, on the video was uh, that I used biscuits to, to joint those these two pieces of wood together, to edge joint them. And uh, somebody was telling me that, that's, that biscuits are just worthless. <laughs> they just edge joint things face to face is fine. Uh, and then somebody else said, yeah, that, that is right. It's just a waste of money. And so I don't know. It, I, I always See, I got them because I remember years ago when I was watching Norm Abram and he, for a while there, he was on this biscuit kick, I think. He, he was using those biscuits on almost every project. And so, so I thought, I need a biscuit joiner. And as it turned out, I hardly ever used the thing. This is probably the first project I've used my biscuit jointer on in a year. I don't know, maybe not quite that long. But I always thought they were good. It seems to me you make the slot and then they put them in there and then the glue makes them swell up and it gives you that extra, extra gripping power. Uh, but I guess the controversy is that that's, it's totally meaningless. In fact, the one guy was saying that all sorts of edge joining is just actually weakening the wood by putting dowels in, I don't know about Craig pocket holes, jigs, you know, screws. So I don't know. I mean, you're welcome to weigh in on that if you like. Uh, I don't know. I think also if I just put the two edges together and glued them that way, for one, I think it's kind of hard to get them aligned properly and the way I do it is kind of hokey and I'm sure that it would just they would slide <laughs> slide around I think biscuits kind of keep them true at least that's what I think so I am going to be making the stomp box this week and I'm glad I waited on it because this is look at this you know what that is that's a pickup and Brent sent this to me and uh, uh, you'll see more of this in the video, but that little thing is all you need to make the sound. So I'm just going to solder it together with this, which is a little quarter inch jack for, for the plugs into the amplifier. Yeah. So anyways, th this will go inside of the box and give you that boom, boom, boom beat sound. But what I want to do is, again, I want to add the, I don't know what I did with them, the, the tambourine, the little symbols on there, and um, something else. And I forget what that something else was. See, my mind is just not with me today. 
let me turn off the video and then I'll remember it. I decided to get a beer and think about it and it came to me. It was the snare, you know? <laughs> I have the snare for the snare drum that I want to include in that stomp box also. And I, I don't know if I... I'm kind of thinking about having a lid on the box that opens up so you can change the snare. My biggest problem right now is coming up with a way that the snare you can turn on and off and then the little the little jingles from the tambourine. I want to be able to just use them or not use them. So, you know, that's what I'm working on. But I'll have that for next week. So that's about all I've got today. Um, I really find it hard to work in the summertime. <laughs> I find it hard to get motivated and to figure out things. I guess, um, I guess a lot of us do. It, it's hard it's be because the heat today is also a really hot day. And um, I guess I shouldn't complain. Everybody elsewhere outside of California is just sizzling this summer, it seems like, uh, you know, up 100 degrees plus. And I always like it when they say it's, it's 98 degrees, but it feels like 110. <laughs> I don't think I could feel the difference between 98 and 110. Where does this feels like business come from? What does that mean? What is that supposed to tell me? They should just say it's hot. It's really, really hot outside, but I don't know. But it hasn't been that hot here in California, so I guess I guess we're kind of lucky. It's warm, but yeah, I, I blame it all on global warming. <laughs> it's easy. I blame everything on global warming, you know. Say if, like, a, a show doesn't come on TV that you were wanting to see. Global warming. Uh, let's see. Uh, you were going to have something for dinner, and you didn't have an ingredient. Global warming. <laughs> Uh, you can apply it in the wood shop too, you know, if um, wood isn't responding the way you want when you're cutting it, blame it on global warming. <laughs> yeah, I went there. I angered the global warming community. <laughs> it deflects attention away from the, the, the controversy about biscuits. Oh, and me talking too much too. But you know, the talking too much really got me thinking about... Uh, one of my next videos, I don't, think, I don't think I'm going to do it on the stomp box. Maybe the one after that. I think I'm just going to have an endless stream of talking. <laughs> That'll be funny. Yeah, It'll be a lot like this video you're watching <laughs> right now. Wow. I often wonder, does anybody sit through all of these <laughs> videos? <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later.